Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokob battle video and so today we are going to be taking a look at the STR Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Vegito. They have got their EZA early on global. This came to JP as part of the anniversary but is now out on global today as part of the Golden Week celebration. This is pretty huge because this is a big buff not just for Goku's team but also for the Vegeta Super Saiyans team which is what we're going to be trying them out on today. One of their 200% leads. Uh, they're going to work very nicely on this team so we're gonna check them out here see how we get on their leader skill is battle of wits or margin boost saga 3 key 180 so decent leader skill um 200 leads are obviously like the go-to now but 180 is perfectly fine for some of these events right um so yeah they've got a very good leader skill uh their super attacks for the 12 key stack defense greatly raise attack for one turn colossal damage the 18 key is stack defense, greatly raise attack for one turn, and mega colossal damage. So they're stacking defense and greatly raising attack on both supers, which is really good. Key 2, attack and defense 200%, 30% damage reduction. They get two extra key per type key sphere obtained. They launch an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super. They have a medium chance to crit, so that's 30%. Then they get an additional 50% attack and defense and launch an additional super for one turn from the character's entry turn or when HP is 77% or more at the start of the turn. Then they get an additional chance to crit 20% and damage reduction 20% if HP is 50% or more when attacking. So turn one here with all these buffs. We're getting an additional attack that has a great chance to be a super, a guaranteed additional super because it's the first turn, so they could attack four times. Then because we're above 50% HP, we have a built-in, uh, what is it, the medium chance to crit, so 50% chance to crit and 50% damage reduction. So pretty good. And their start of turn defense, turn one, 240k. Um, they share four links with the Vegeta. So not only is this a good team for them in terms of the fact they get the 200% leader skill, but they are actually getting the, um, they are getting the buffs as well. Uh, from the links, so mm, it's a bit of a shame that we can't. Oh, there you go. We can get the 18 key super if we do that. Because I want to get the six orbs for Kefler. Um, this team is going to be very, very effective on global. I need to get the. Uh, we've got King Vegeta and Kaba on the team, both of which we can get floated around to being on rotations with these guys and giving them a ton of extra support. And one of the other reasons that why they're going to work really, really well on this team is because Vegeta is our sort of go-to slot one unit, right, for both rotations. He gets that extra buff where he has the chance to do another extra attack and get another stack if he gets a super um, by having a unit whose name includes Goku on the rotation. So, of course, these guys are Goku and Vegeta. And by the time you get to the point where they confuse into Vegito, then you won't have a unit on the rotation whose name includes Goku. But by the time you get to that point, you can transform the tech Vegeta. And once he's transformed, he doesn't need to have a Goku on the rotation. So that works out really nicely. It's a good bit of synergy there with the designs. So we get 5 mil on the additional 12 key. So with no defense, uh, no support. We... Uh, Got the additional attack, became a super, and then we get the guaranteed one because it's turn one. Then we did get the hidden potential as well, but it was only a normal attack. So that's uh, decent. They got three extra stacks on their defense. And then Kefler comes in at 9.5. See, I was going to say, she probably takes out Yamu here, especially with the uh, additional super since we got the orbs for her. So yeah, that works out like, uh, quite nicely. Um, the only downside, I guess, for Vegito uh, being on turn one is they can't fuse until turn four. Um, so this is actually quite a good setup for this. So let's do... Hmm, we are lacking on the key for Vegito, though, which is awkward. Well, unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that. So we'll do this. We need our... Are you serious? <laughs> King Vegeta needs three AGL, three orbs to get damage reduction and three AGL orbs to get extra damage reduction. And we couldn't get that. But it is what it is. Vegeta, um, oh, of course, double supers in slot one. God damn. Good thing everybody else on the rotation will be able to tank the, norm the rest of the turn, like normal attacks for double digits. And I suppose we don't have to worry about um, Vegito, uh, the Vegito unit not having their... Transformation condition ready, eh? Because uh, 
you got to be below the HP threshold. The only problem is, as I was going to say, is, is turn four. So we could have floated them off on turn one, and then they come back around on turn four, um, and then get the transformation straight away. However, we are going to have to wait um, a couple of turns in order for them to get it here. Which hopefully won't be the end of the world, but we are obviously uh, on quite low HP now. So, although, of course, I've just realized we have Kaba on the next rotation. I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to mess around with the rotation, though, because Kaba's going to have to go in slot one to give me the full heal. Which means I'm going to have to float off the Vegeta. So then I'm going to have to float the other Vegeta as well. And it's going to get a bit uh, awkward. So we'll do this. Um, so they're up to 458k for this turn. I should really, yeah, I should really just do this. So yeah, the full heal off of that. We're not going to transform you yet, obviously. Um, I mean, these guys have a decent chance to crit, so I will actually get them to attack him. Because, of course, any non-crits kind of are wasted, but... And they do have the chance to go. Although, it was... And that's the good thing about their buffs as well, actually. Is their um, buffs are when attacking. So, at the start of the turn, we were on low HP. But we've healed because of Kaba. So, now when they attack, they do have enough um, HP in order to get all of those extra buffs. But, of course, Kaba just going to go ham. Because, of course, by picking up all those orbs, he has a guaranteed crit. And uh, a very, very high attack stat. So, didn't even get to see uh, Vegito actually do anything on that turn. It's one of those things, I wanted to try this event because it's one of the new ones, so it's like we finally have new stages to try out some of these units on, but I mean they just don't like, even this first stage of the new red zone is just not difficult enough. Um, these aren't going to drop the way I want them to are they? So if I do this, uh, okay they didn't drop the way I thought they were going to, but the middle has opened up here so we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll try and get rid of uh, Deborah here straight away. Um, now, the one thing I know people criticize for the Goku and Vegito is the fusion condition uh, to fuse into Super Vegito, because you have to be below a certain amount of HP. Now, in some of the difficult events, that's not going to be super difficult, but we obviously ended up in quite, kind of a weird situation where, because we ended up on very low HP, um, we had to use, you know, we pulled out the Kaba full heal. Not that we had much choice in that turn, of course, but like... Um, to get us back to full HP because our health was so low we're in danger of dying even from units that can you know tank a super relatively well especially if we're on full health so of course it means we've healed up and then we get this turn where both the enemies super attack tech Vegeta which means we basically didn't take any damage so now when we get onto this next turn we won't be able to fuse um, into Vegito, which is uh, definitely not what we want right so, let's see how we get on here. Uh, Deborah has a lot of HP. Which, I mean, I guess is good, right? But, for our own purposes here. I mean, I don't think the amount of HP he's gonna, he has is going to matter too much, though, if Kefla actually just does her thing. We might have to jump into a uh, another event here to get some more uh, Vegito action. Well, to get any Vegito action, in fact, because uh, we've only seen Goku and Vegeta, but... We're probably not going to get the fusion at this rate. Yeah, there's Deborah gone. Um, and then, yeah, she's tanking normal, so double digits at that point regardless anyway. So now this is an interesting rotation, because we got... What links do you guys share? See, these got, uh, King Vegeta has very similar links to the Tech Vegeta. So on this rotation, they have a decent amount of links active here. Um, so let's go for... We got, what, 560k defense with 30% damage reduction. It's not bad, it's not the greatest, but obviously, you know, we wouldn't be putting them in slot 1 in this kind of scenario anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, they are getting a lot of support, because of course King Vegeta supports uh, Pure Saiyans. Uh, he's got the 7 mil. We don't have a Vegeta on rotation, sadly, so we're not getting the uh, extra buff from him being in slot 1. But, I mean, they're 13 million these guys are up to now. Actually, does he get his buff when attacking if there's... Yeah, I think it's. I think the buff he gets from attacking is only when there's a Vegeta on the rotation. But, oh yeah, of course, I forget this isn't the final phase either, is it? So, we can go ahead and uh, 
Maybe someone will take some damage from here from uh, Boo and Barbadi. The only problem is, of course, that as you start to get much later into the event, you run the risk of, like, a character is just going to get immediately destroyed as opposed to um, us surviving with enough HP for what we want, which is to get the... Um, man, to get the uh, transformation. Getting really unlucky with the orbs on these turns, eh? I mean, you don't need any key. I'm not going to use the active skill because I don't want to end the fight too quickly. Also, why would it go that way? I thought the game prioritized key. This gives us three key because candy doesn't give us any. Whereas if it picks up the blue orbs, it gives us five. So apparently the game actually just prioritizes... No, it doesn't even prioritize the number of orbs because it will pick up same type orbs. So that screwed me over with like Tech Janemba in the past where it will pick up the orbs that give you the most key instead of picking up the number of orbs, because that's what we actually want for Tech Janemba, so we can get the um, abilities that he has. Um, but now in this case, where we want to get the um, less orbs, but because they give more key, because those cookie things don't give any key, it gets them instead. So, very confusing. But the bright side is, of course, that we did get hit. So we get a hit for a decent amount, which should push us below the HP threshold for the Vegito Fusion, because I believe it's 77%. Which isn't really that hard to get to, right? As long as you are getting hit by a super, even on units that tank relatively well, it's not difficult to lose like 23% of your HP. So that leaves us in a good position here now to actually see the Vegito Fusion. And of course, we've got Kefla on the rotation too. So we're going to have a uh, fused fighter partner for him. And of course, even though he fuses into Vegito, and as we all know, standalone Vegitos are not on Pure Saiyans, the card is still on Pure Saiyans. So therefore, he still gets the support from King Vegito. So yeah, 77% or less starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle, which is really good because if he's on turn two and you don't float him off, then his next appearance is turn four and you can already transform if you need to. Now, of course, he does have the stacks. So... He is a unit that you don't always necessarily want to transform straight away. It just depends on the situation. But for some of the harder events, you probably are just going to want to transform him straight away anyway. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and get the uh, fusion here. So now that we fuse into uh, Super Vegito, uh, this is where things get very interesting. Because we get a full heal. We get a Scouter now for uh, 10 turns. So... Let's see what we are looking at here. So in terms of super attacks, greatly raise attack and defense for one turn does colossal damage. And then greatly raise attack and defense for one turn mega colossal and seals on the 18 key. Um, fully recovers HP. Guards all attacks for three turns from the entry turn. Key five attack and defense 250 and a high chance to crit. Additional chance to crit 20% within the same turn with each attack performed. Plus an additional attack 30% within the same turn after receiving an attack. Damage reduction of 30%, additional damage reduction of 30% uh, for normals, um, and then of course he counters normals with tremendous power, an additional key 2 per key sphere obtained, additional attack and defense 77% for Caesar enemy super attack for 10 turns from his entry turn. So he's starting off on this rotation at 731k with 30% damage reduction against everything, so including that super, and 60% damage reduction against normals. So, very, very tanky. Uh, the orb's really not good here, even for Kefla. We still... Oh, my God. We're get, constantly getting screwed by the uh, orbs here. The candy orb's definitely not helping either. But So, we get hit here. And then, decent bit of crit ca uh, counter damage. No crit, though. And how much is he going to take from the super? He should tank this relatively well, right? 30% damage reduction, 700k. He's not going to take double... Okay, yeah, he is going to take double digits. Oh yeah, of course, because he has guard as well. Not that that matters as much because the enemy's physical, but guard does also just reduce damage that little bit and I believe protects against the um, super versus extreme modifier as well. So, And then, yeah, now we start getting some post-super crit counters after we've raised our attack. So, yeah, nice, uh, nice damage from those. 
And so Kefla's orbs not really going to matter here. It doesn't matter if she gets an additional super or not. This 17 million attack stat that she's just casually dropping here is going to be GG. So, I mean, there you go. STR, Goku and Vegeta are very, very good. Certain situations, they're not going to be the best. Like, I know the stage two of this new red zone has AGL Super Boo that does AoEs. And these guys are STR. 30% damage reduction against the super is not going to be the best. If they're still in their base form, they're going to get cooked. If they've transformed into Vegito and it's within those early turns where they get the guard, then that's good. And of course, because he has the scouter up by then and you know where in the turn the AoE is going to be. If possible, you obviously put the Vegito earlier in the turn so he can at least get his supers off and get some extra defense. But yeah, Goku and Vegito are definitely looking very good. Them coming to global early is an absolute W. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Hopefully you got on all right with doing their uh, Extreme Z battle. I did make a team building guide for it if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on EZA, STR Goku and Vegeta slash Super Vegito down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.